Almost forgot to show you guys the air filter. She's a bit uh, crusty. Yeah. Uh, man. And it's hard. It's like crumbly. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to part three of the Honda Shadow. We were trying to save this thing for my dad. He completely ruined it, unfortunately. Never changed the oil. He went through four tires and no oil changes and no air filters and no spark plugs. And put some lights on here that fried the entire wiring system. They put a new wiring harness on it. And it's not running on the front cylinder. Yep, tons of fun. Let's get started. So I replaced those lights with some really cheap eBay lights. Come with a little switch up here. It's a uh, three setting switch. It has a strobe on it, which I wish, you know, I wish you could skip that because you don't want to be strobe lighting anybody down the road. So I replaced all the wiring for those lights as well and incorporated this relay I installed right in here. It came with the uh, entire wiring harness and that got rid of the overheating of the wiring. I also installed some brand new coils and wires, mainly because I was looking at wires and it wasn't too much more to get the coils with the wires. So I went ahead and installed those and I got really good spark. I checked both spark plugs. This thing has two per cylinder. I got a comment on the last video that made me think about going back and checking the spark again. So I thought of the easiest, simplest thing I could check the spark with was I got this old timing light that I used for my uh, Impala that I in my Caprice that I was building. Uh, I rebuilt the motor in the Caprice. So I hooked the timing light up and the rear cylinder is reading just over a thousand RPMs just like normal but if I hook it on the front wire it's reading zero and sometimes 700 or 600. So there's something going on with the spark and I came back here and I unplugged this while it was running. This is the coil igniter and when I unplugged this one, it did nothing, absolutely nothing. And I unplugged the other side and the bike completely quit. So I think I might have a bad coil igniter. Swap the igniter coils, just swap the plugs on them. I did have power inside of the one that was going to this coil, which is the one, or this igniter coil, that that's the one that didn't do anything when I unplugged it. It didn't make a difference. So when I unplugged the other one, it completely killed the bike. So it's still running on that back cylinder. Pretty good. Nothing on the front so there's something else going on i pulled this plug out again took this uh wire back apart just to check the connection i did find a little bit of fiberglass stuff down inside of there but that connection in there is still pretty good and this one doesn't look too bad i'm going to put this spark plug back in here check the spark again this spark plug was soaked in gas and oil and it looks like it's got a little bit of puddling in there so and there's also a fresh fresh little sign of uh, oil right there and running down the side of the heads so yeah she definitely needs a rebuild but we're still working on that issue with getting this front cylinder Ooh. forgot that thing's shooting right in my face better unplug the other side well i just discovered that the other side is completely cracked awesome I was getting a very terrible spark, almost no spark, very, very weak uh, on both sides coming from that coil that runs this front cylinder. Now, it was very strange that it did it again with the second set of coils, well, the new coils that I just installed, rather. Uh, it's possible that that one new coil was bad, but it's weird that it's doing the exact same thing that it did before with the old coils with the new coils. So, we're just going to try it again. I put an old coil back in there and I got good spark. So I wired it all back up. Check it again before I hook it back in there. But uh, so far we got spark. It's back to leak again. 
I switched it to one of them older coil packs and this is the front cylinder it's finally running on that front cylinder when it's switch it you can see it's running about a thousand rpm take it from the front put it on the back it says it's running about 800 to a thousand <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that's the one from the rear cylinder that was on here before but uh, this brand new coil wasn't sending a very good spark I did have spark but it was a very weak spark and sometimes it was even inter intermittent so it was just really not there uh, I took that rear spark plug out and checked that and the spark was just insane just like it was before when I first put these uh, coils on here so I'm not sure if it shorted it out I did find one of these connectors in here was just a little bit loose so I went some, with some pliers pinched it down a little bit more so it's a little bit tighter and I uh, got a better connection put the old coil back in there rewired all these back in I do need to replace this thing you can see it's got a huge crack in it so that's not that's not helping anything rewired it back on this side I swapped one of the the plugs from this cylinder to this cylinder swapped them back and forth just to make sure I had a good spark plug up here checked it and it still seemed like it had weak spark over here every once in a while but I think it might be grounding out on the motor with that bad plug on the other side it does start and run it runs on both cylinders now it's backfiring a little bit especially from that front cylinder uh, I'm gonna try to either save this exhaust the brackets are missing or they're too short It's pointing upwards. So it's kind of pointing at the uh, Rear axle right there, and it's just spraying all over it So I really need to go after this thing. I might even just straight pipe it to be honest because you can see it hits the kickstand at the bottom right here just about and This connection is just it's just not doing anything and it's like that on both sides I did put a new slave cylinder and I put new master cylinders on the top up here both sides these are just some cheap eBay master cylinders got one for the front brake as well we're at 45,000 on the clock right here I'm gonna go ahead and do a cold start it's been sitting overnight about 40 45 degrees last night and it's running on both cylinders, so we're going to give it a cold start and see how it sounds. A lot better. So that was a hard time to start. Might be all the intake leaks. Got a wiring problem. It sounds like it's still missing on that front cylinder. I know it's a while. It is slow on compression as well.
like that, just running extremely lean. Well, thanks to my little time and light trick, I was able to figure out that I didn't have spark on that front cylinder. Also, thanks to a comment that made me go back over myself and recheck something that I'd already done. I do need to put new spark plugs in this thing. I'm, I'm sure that'll help. Um, these spark plugs are, you know, the same ones that he put about 15, 20,000 miles, four tires and zero oil changes on. So maybe, maybe new spark plugs. So next is going to be fuel i guess so we're gonna have to figure out if it's getting enough fuel it just sounds like it's just popping and everything obviously it's not getting enough fuel run maybe running a little bit lean it sounds like that cylinder is coming in and out uh, i am getting spark now so fuel problem probably got my booster box so that has an on off switch and i've got it wired directly to the fuel pump and i've got the main fuel line disconnected here you just need to run it for five seconds and then multiply it by 12 and then you get your your fuel ratio for over a minute how much this fuel is pumping out uh, I think it's gonna be pretty weak because that pump is very old and all I've really got is this baby bottle but this will do so this looks to be just under three ounces I'm gonna run another test You hear the pump uh, kind of click off there for a second. It almost stopped. And we only got two ounces that time. So that's definitely a weak fuel pump. So this is the book. Uh, I didn't really look at this. I actually watched a video. I'm going to put a link to the guy's channel that I watched. But um, I do have the book. And this is the entire process. So it says 22 ounces is supposed to be how much it puts out. So we're going to multiply. It's about on average two and a half ounces I ran a couple more tests and on average it's going from two to one and a half as you can see here I gave it even a little extra time on this one so it's very inconsistent and I think when you're getting it going it, it gets a little bit more voltage to the pump so it actually lets it run a little bit faster so it actually makes it pump more fuel but also explain the inconsistency in that front cylinder now that I've got good spark on it it's in and out where it's kind of backfiring and running and not running so inconsistent fuel pressure is no good. Only one and a half ounces uh, every five seconds. So 18 ounces per minute is pretty bad. I mean, it's not the greatest. It does run, the bike does run, I mean, off of that pump, but it's just not running very great. And I don't want to go tuning carburetors if I don't have good fuel pressure. So ordered a new pump, that's on its way. So I guess we just go ahead and cut the exhaust off. So I've got new intake boots, carb jets, New fuel pump on the way. Got a new one of those spark plug connectors coming. All the tank hardware to mount the tank back there. This side isn't near as bad. Like I said, I'm going to try to save this exhaust possibly, but uh, we're just going to have to take it all apart, see what it looks like. Maybe straight pipe it. That's also why I ordered all the jets, uh, just to make sure that we can have some adjustment. Well, hit me up in the comments. Please subscribe. Let me know what you think. We just might straight pipe this old girl. For my dad he's 80 years old so i'm gonna have to ask him to see if he's okay with straight pipes so we're just waiting on all that to show up some of it's from china so it's gonna be a while but most of it will be here in about a week or two please subscribe till next time deuces